Hi pros, it's Alexa with House Pro, and today we're going to learn how to use the email marketing template editor. You can use the template editor to create, customize, and design engaging emails to your leads, clients, and vendors. In this tutorial, we'll cover the following topics. How to set the background color, the differences between rows and content and how to use each one, how to personalize emails with personalization tags, what type of content we suggest linking to in your email, how to save a block for future use, and how to preview the email before sending it out. First up, setting the background color. Click on the background and then on the right hand side you'll see this panel pop up. Here you can select the background color per section of the email. You can change the background color for both the columns and the rows, so the outer sides or the inner sides of your email. To revert to a blank background, click the X next to the color you selected. Next we'll explain the difference between rows and content. Rows include the whole email from left to right in a particular section. You can save rows for future use. Content includes the individual blocks within a row. This is where the body of your email is located. Next up, personalizing emails with personalization tags. Click the text you wish to personalize, and then above, in the options, click personalization tag. You can choose either the business name or the contact name. This way, each email will be personalized according to the recipient. Here are suggestions of what type of content to link in your email. You can link anything such as a calendar link, a review link. A great time-saving tip is to link to an editorial article on House. Just go to house.com slash idea book for hundreds of already written articles that are likely to interest your homeowners. Just copy the article URL. Now go back to the email editor and click on a button in the email. On the right-hand side panel, you can paste the article link in the URL spot. Now we'll learn how to save a block for future use. A block you may want to save is social media icons. First go to content and click social to add in the ability to add social media icons. Then select the icons you want to show, such as your house profile, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Click on each icon to add in the URL for each of your social media profiles. To save the block for future use, click on the row and then click the save icon. Create a category name and tag so you can find it easily in the future. From here on out, your social media icons will be saved in the content section. You can use them on any future email. Lastly, we'll discuss how to preview your email before sending it out. In the lower left corner of the template editor, you'll see a little eye icon. This is your preview icon. Click the eye and then you can preview your email from the desktop, tablet, or phone version. Once you're happy with your email, you may want to save it as a template for future use. Just click the Add to My Templates button on the top right. This will save you time when you're sending out something such as a monthly newsletter. You'll already have the formatting in place. When you're ready, click Continue to Send. You can also put in a test email address so that you can see exactly how your email will appear to the sender. For additional information on the email marketing tool, see our other videos in this series. Thanks for watching!